The type of chicken feeders used at different stages of your beds will determine the quantity of feed wastage as feed account for about 80% of total cost of production in broiler farming. Stay till the end as I will unlock the best type of feeders to reduce this wastage in your farm. What's up my people? Welcome to my YouTube channel Life of a Farmer Loaf where we discuss farming in details. I remain your loyal boy Ishokri of Okironyi. You can call me Ovorans. And if this is your first time, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos. And to all my old subscribers, I love you all. Also, please don't forget to share, like and drop your questions in the comment section and I will respond to them. So without wasting much of your time, let's dive into the main cocoa and ensure to watch till the end because there are some secrets I shared in between and also at the end and also at the end I will reveal some other secret as well. Since feed account for 80% cost of production, as a farmer, be it cockerel, layers, boilers or pullets, your ability to reduce this number to the barest minimum will increase your profit. That is why I want to talk about the feeders. Chicken feeders varies in shapes and sizes and the age of bed is determined by the type of feeders. This is mainly for two reasons. One, to reduce wastage and two, for the beds to have easy access when feeding. On arrival of your beds at day old, there are two options. It is either you spread your feed on a sheet of paper that is spread on the floor or you use chick feeders and there are different types the most commonly used ones for chicks are the tray feeders the first one i'll talk about is automatic feeders this type of feeders are automated and other forms of automation is by chicken demand they are in form or they could they they, they could also be called treadle feeder whereby the chicken step on it and it opens and it opens the feed box for them to eat so the second type of feeder is the gravity feeder this type of feeder are mostly available and very simple to use they usually have an open container with a feed tray at the base when you refill from the top which is in a cone shape the old feed gets to be eaten first this feeder can be mounted or freestanding one secret to reduce wastage is to make sure that the base of the feeder is placed at the back level of your beds such that they stretches a little to feed then the third one i want to talk about is the hanging type of feeder this type of feeder is not different from the gravity type feeder which i have described earlier just like the gravity type feeder another secret is that it should be hanged in the central position such that several beds can have access to feed round about it at the same time and the fourth one is the trough feeder this type of feeders are mostly in rectangular shape i will advise that if you must use this type of feeder then make room to lift it up from the ground because most cases bear species on it and poop into the feed another disadvantage is that the bears can easily kick it over while scratching and moving around. The last two secrets I want to share with you is to show you the best feeder to minimize wastage and how to identify it and secondly why you should not use wooden feeders. But before I share it with you, just click the thumbs up button on your screen. Thank you for that. And if you haven't subscribed yet, take this time to click the subscribe button and also the bell icon and share as well. So so that we can reach out to a larger audience and to help me grow my channel at no extra cost to you thanks if you take a look at this there are no edge on it so by the time you put your feed in here this one is kind of um, semi-automated let me put it that way because when you feel it to the brain when you feel it to the top as they are eating from here the feed will be going down but the disadvantage of this is that there is no edge to hold your feed there are no edge to hold your feed the other drink feeder i'm going to show to you you will see that there are edges to prevent the feed from falling off you can see that the edges are flipped and this one has rust 
we've washed it times with that number so you now see that it get rust easily it's not supposed to get rust the feeder is not supposed to get rust that is where durability now comes in by the time the best continue pecking on it before you know this rust they will not bore holes on it let me show you an example look at this look at this feeder now this feeder has the edges on it but it's not durable it will not last long as you can see we didn't use this one more than we didn't use it up to a year so it has started to get rust and when you see you can see the holes inside so this one will cause feed wastage we can't use this one any longer cause feed wastage and it's rust and look at the material used for it the material is very very soft look at the material very soft weak low quality material is used but it passed this first test it passed the first test but durability it failed so this one is thrown out then look at this one too the same thing you can see that after few uses about two two to three sets that we use it can't use it any longer this one we just cross feed wastage and the best we just make um the best we just throw away all your feed on the floor so this feeder passed the two tests one the edges are tilted inside and two durability is very very strong you can see i'm pressing it now see the materials used are of high quality and they are durable but unlike this one i'm picking it now you can hear you can hear it you can see that it's of low quality well as this no noise is coming out of this so that is it did not also pass the two tests durability failed and that tilted edge to save feed doesn't have it look at it so you see that the quality of this one is very tough very strong even when i try to press it it's not going so this one is more durable and if you see the edge there is this tilt that is tilted inside this one will help to prevent feed from falling off so likewise this one to all of them you see that they are all having this edge so the quality of this material this one is durable lasts long and so if you want to buy your feeders, make sure to look at for these two things that I've mentioned. The last one is the reason why you should avoid use of wooden feeders. This is very simple. They are and this is very simple reason be that one they are very difficult to wash and disinfect thereby causing buildup of disease causing organisms to your beds even when you succeed in washing these um wooden feeders it takes longer time usually days if not weeks for them to get dried i believe you have gotten reliable information from the video please help me to grow my channel by subscribing give me likes and share don't forget to drop your comments as this will help me in the YouTube algorithm. Special thanks to all my old and new subscribers. See you in my next video. Peace out.